Oh my God, seriously, I just left the post office after standing there for, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes just to drop off a box that was already pre-labeled and paid for. Um, it's just that for some reason, mm, like almost no post offices have just drop boxes for packages. The only ones that I know of that do are uh, the one that I normally go to, which is where my P.O. box is, and uh, also the like main big post office here in Las Vegas that's by the airport. Seriously, Postal Service, here's your problem. It's not that you don't have enough uh, uh, mail going through you or enough customers because every time I go to the damn post office, there's like 25 people in line. Um, uh, you don't offer convenient enough services. Like, you have this amazing machine called the Automated Postal Center, right? It's just a little ATM-like device where people can buy their own postage and, and buy stamps and do all sorts of stuff. But I've only seen them in two of your offices. Why would you not install those in every single post office? Like, if you're a bank, in 2014, you don't have a bank branch that doesn't have an ATM, right? It's a given. You have at least one, if not four ATMs, including drive-ups. Why wouldn't you have the same thing at every single U.S. post office? It makes no sense to me at all. Second, old people. Listen, I know that I, I've... I've self-accused myself of being ageist before, and this is not going to help my um, argument at all, but why, why are you all so crazy? And why do you take so much time? And why do you chit-chat with people so much? I, listen, I know why you do. I know why you do because you're lonely and your mind is unraveling and and that's all you've got in life is chit-chatting with the, the person behind the counter at the postal service. Come on, people. And now I'm sitting here on Carson People just crossing the crosswalk whenever they want, regardless of what the light is. Today has been a frustrating day. Oh my god. First post office I went to, I go to the post office, and they're closed for lunch from 1 to 2. That's fine, I understand, because guess what? My office is also closed from 1 to 2, because that's when I'm out trying to go to the post office. But they don't have a drop box. They don't have anything more than a single friggin' mailbox outside. They don't even have letter slots inside. So if you go in and the doors open to where they have their like normal uh, 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 PO box access, there's no drop boxes. Like, what is going on with the friggin' U.S. Postal Service that they can't just have a box for you to drop your stuff into? Like, this is not rocket science. Like, just get your stuff together. Have a drop box, have an automated postal center, and have efficient people that work behind the counter who can actually figure out when someone's just wasting their damn time. I This lady seriously spent 15 minutes with this one customer who her transaction had been finished for, for like 10 minutes, but she was just, you know what? You say, excuse me, ma'am, I'm sorry, there's a line behind you. I would love to be able to chat with you all day, but I have to take care of these other customers. That's all you have to do. I worked in customer service for like the first 10 years of my working life, and I did a pretty good job of it because I knew how to deal with people, and I dealt with a lot of crazy people, and I dealt with a lot of old people because I worked at a Kinko's in the middle of town for eight years, and let me tell you the type of people that come into Kinko's. There's business people who are coming in to do legitimate business, who, you know, bring you your big money. There are uh, <clears throat> old people who don't know how to use technology, so they come into a place where there are people who they think can show them how to use technology. And then there are crazy people. Crazy conspiracy theorists, uh, uh, fighting the government, I don't want to pay taxes, don't want to sign anything electronically because they might be tracked by whomever. Uh, that's, that's, the, that's the third type of people that come into Kinko's, and they came in all the time. Repeat people who came into Kinko's to like make photocopies of their files that supposedly had documents showing that, I don't know, 911 was an inside hit? I have no idea. It actually probably wasn't that because it would have been before then, but you get the point. This is the type of people that hang out at Kinko's all day. And I'll tell you what, I've gone, I haven't worked there for I, I, a, a decade plus, right? Not since my mid 20s. Um, I went back to the same location that I used to work at, that's now a FedEx office um, on Sahara Indicator here in Las Vegas. And 
those crazy people still hang out at that same location. I have seen them there in the self-service computing section or the, or the self-service copying area and they're still crazy and I don't know where they get the money to use these computers or to, to make copies or whatever, but my God. Sorry, I didn't expect to, this to be, be a big rant. I actually expect it to be a lot more cohesive, and I was going to talk about some very specific things. But that's what happened. And I've had some Yerba Mate tea, which I, th I think, like, regular tea is, you know, a caffeine I'm sensitive to as it is. But this Yerba Mate stuff, I think it is blowing my entire, like, nervous system out of proportion. And there's this car in front of me that doesn't know where the fuck it's going, and it keeps trying to turn the wrong way on one-way streets, and it keeps stopping at green lights. What? what? What are you doing, lady? And she's just honking and stopping. What? 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 What are you doing? What are you doing? I will, guys. If 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 you hear about a uh, a, a a vehicular homicide today it, on the news, it's gonna be because I did it and I killed someone. So sorry in advance. All right, I gotta get back to work. I, I'm, I'm running really late now because the post office is great. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot.